Hello, it's Jeff Quinton here, and welcome back to the TheQuintonGroup.tv. Yes, I am your host. Today, I'm doing a screen share of my website, right? Our website that we use at the Quinton Group. So it's TheQuintonGroup.com. So go ahead over to the TheQuintonGroup.com and go ahead and scroll over here to it says Tools and Info, and then come down to Property Value Calculator, okay? The Property Value Calculator. So what this is, is a calculator to determine, should I sell my home now or should I wait the market out? Many of us don't know if the right time is to sell now or is it going to appreciate we can get more or maybe that uh, I can carry it a little bit longer because I have rental income that's going to help me uh, carry the property, whichever it may be for you. Here's the scenario and the tool that we use all the time to figure this out with our homeowners that are either on the market or thinking about getting their home market and selling. So let's take a look at it. This assumption right now is that let's say that you have your home on the market for 650000 or six forty nine nine. And uh, let's say you've been on the market for, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it may be. And a buyer makes an offer at 575 and you've come down and let's say that you want 625 for the property. So you're at 625 and the buyer comes up, comes up to 600. The buyer says, you know, I think it's worth 600. I'm not going anymore. You say, hey, you know what? It's 625 is my number. And if I don't get my number, I'm willing to hold out for the property. I rent it. I can carry it. I don't need to sell it. All is good. No worries. Let's look at this scenario that we went over with a client recently. Okay. So they said, you know what? I said, how much time do you want to wait, wait out for the market to get to where you want to get? You want to wait out, you know, to get $25,000 more and you'll wait the market out. How much time do you want to wait? Well, they said, you know, I don't know. I don't, I'm not in any real rush. I mean, I can wait out. Give me another year or two. I said, okay, let's put two years in, right? So I plugged in two here, all right? So the value right now, let's call it $600,000. That's, what that's what's on the table now, $600,000. We plugged in these numbers, $300 a month for maintenance, $2,500 right now on annual insurance, $5,500 for taxes, $2,000 was a mortgage. They owed about $400,000 or so. And then we plugged in here. that They rent the property. I said, well, how much do you get? $30,000 annual rent. They pay a realtor to handle the rentals. It's 12%. They've got about $7,000 in other additional expenses, you know, cable, electric, water, sewer, you name it. So right now, ultimately, if we take a look at these numbers here, for them to, to, to basically hold the property, you know, annually, it's going to cost them about $19,400 after they get, you know, the 30000 in income and they pay off and they get all their expenses paid, right? Here's their expenses. It's going to cost them 19400 per year. So we know right now if they hold it for two years, it's going to cost them right here $32,400, okay? Now, ultimately, I said to them, okay, well, let's take a look. What the market goes flat in the next two years and there's zero appreciation? I just hit the calculate button. That's going to cost them $32,000 to maintain it, you know, over the next two years, right? That's what they're going to, that's going to cost them to them. And they went six, they went 625. So it's going to cost them 32,000 out of their left pocket in hopes that they get 25,000 in, in, in equity, right? Or appreciation, probably not a good return if I'm going to spend 32 and only get 25 back. So let's plug in appreciation because that's what they're waiting on. They're saying, hey, man, maybe the, the market's going to go up. Let's put 3% in which is healthy, calculate it. All right, even at 3% right now per year for the next two years, then the market value will go to 604. Well, they can get 600,000 now, they're gonna wait out basically three or two years in hopes they get this appreciation that gets them to 604. So they're still not even at their 625 they wanna to get to. I said, all right, let's put in basically 5%. So 5%, boom, there we go. 5% appreciation for next year and the year after that. Now all of a sudden they've got them 630,000 which maybe it's it, at that point, I'm going to go ahead for another $5,000 more. You know, I can get to my number, but it's going to take me two more years and I have to wait for the appreciation. So it's just one of those things you have to take a look at yourself. Is the market going up? Is it worth it? Or do I take the cash now, put it in the bank and then earn income on it? Anything you guys uh, need, go to this site here. We've got lots of tools, lots of information. Anything else you need, give me a call uh, or send us an email at jeff at Thanks for watching.